Okay, so this is uh, a treat that my package arrived. Um, so I'll just give you the backstory here. I, um, I have a 1995 Range Rover Classic and the seller uh, only gave me one of the, uh, the key fobs to uh, you know, open the doors and everything. And um, uh, that one doesn't even work. So basically I have no, no way of opening and you know, closing the doors because actually the, uh, the key that he gave me only works for the ignition. So it's a, a huge problem you know, for me um, with regards to using this car. So um, I found a, a company uh, in, uh, in England, um, or Great Britain. Um, you can see uh, his name is uh, Ian. Uh, and it's from remotekey.co.uk. Uh, and um, he will uh, basically fix the problem. Now you can't get the, uh, the US uh, frequency key fobs. Um, they're, they're like a thousand dollars or something. So, uh, and you can't get them from um, Land Rover. So what they do is they reprogram them uh, to a different frequency. Uh, so that's, that's really the, uh, the solution. And basically this cost, um, you know, about $200 uh, to get uh, two new key fobs. Uh, and what he has to do is, is reprogram the, um, the controller, the, uh, which is the piece. So this is uh, this piece here, which I'm uh, opening up, I took out of my car. Um, it's in the passenger dash area. And you can see, um, yeah, I think this is the, uh, the 315 megahertz, um, which is what, what I sent him. And then he reprogrammed it. Um, sorry, I don't know the frequency off the top of my head, uh, but he, he reprogrammed it to whatever the other frequency is and then sent me the new um, key fob. So once I get this back in the car, which I'm gonna do right now, uh, I should have you know fully functional uh, door locks, which uh, which I'm very excited about, and supposedly these new uh, new ones work better. Uh, the different frequency, you know, um, works longer and better, and I think I can get replacements of these units uh, easier. Also, um, as far as the instructions, uh, basically it says here I got to refit the box, um, then uh, press a button on the key fob. The, the big yeah and that's basically it for for two of the uh key fobs and then i should be good to go so um all right well let's see how this works okay so uh, like i said it goes uh in the passenger side under the the glove box and you can see uh this is the uh, the unit and i'll be putting it right over here I turned the, uh, I disconnected the battery, you know, before doing anything, so I don't cause any you know, electrical issues. And uh, this takes a, uh, sorry if uh, it was not focusing on the area properly, but that's where it goes. And this takes uh, these seven millimeter bolts. So I'm gonna hook this up and we'll see if it works. So I secured the, uh, the unit back in place. I just wanted to show you one thing here. I ended up uh, jumping the um, these two wires to uh, to use the car while it was uh, being serviced because I had to send this piece you know all the way to uh, UK and then wait for it to come back. It took like two to three weeks. So if you jump these two wires here, uh, then uh, you can actually continue to uh, to use the car. You just won't have power locks. So um, you know not so terrible. Um, so that's taking that out now I have to just get these plugs back in place which I'll do and then we'll uh, hook the battery back up okay as you can see everything's hooked up all right so I'm following the instructions uh, I'm supposed to take the key fob um, press the button three times oh huh, nice sick okay and here, other other fob, we got lock, we got unlock. All right, this is fantastic. This is great. All right, go in and thank you for remotekey.co.uk. Amazing work. I can't believe this worked. Fantastic.